Hello my dear students, this is Shilpi Saxena. Welcome to my channel Learning Hub. So today we are going to move ahead with binary files. The basics I have already explained in my previous video. So today we are going to start with the operations which is again the new topic added by CBSC this year. So this in this video I will be explaining how to open a binary file, close a file, pickle module which I have already discussed in my previous video. So this module again I am going to use then how to read, write, create, append, search and update in binary file all these things I will be covering in this video. So before we start um, this explanation I will take one example in which I will explain how we can open a file, how we can close a file and how we can write or append in a file. This is the first program. So in this video, I will be explaining three programs in which I will cover all these topics. So the very first program is this program in which I, uh, I will ask user to enter roll number, name and marks of three subjects. I will make a list of these three things and it will be stored in the binary file as a record and every time the user will give input of the roll number name and marks and it will be stored in binary file so this is the program so it will append basically it will append in in the binary file so writing the difference between two is writing means it will open the exist the new file and then write it uh, write the data into it and appending means in the existing file it will append the record it will keep on added adding in the uh, existing file so I'll open the file in this in append mode because file already exists so import pickle is the module which is used to uh, dump object means the list which I'll create I will dump it and then uh, we can recover it using load so in this program I'll use only uh, I, I'll use both the things load and dump so ANS is equal to Y. This is infinite loop to keep on asking the user to add records. So as it is a list of roll number, name and mark. So I have defined a, an empty list. So it will enter the roll number. Now see roll number is unique entity. So it should not be repeated. So we have to keep a track whether roll number exists in the file or not. If it exists, so it will not allow you to enter the data. So first of all, when the user will enter roll number, it will check for the existence of roll number. How it will check? Try and accept. I already ex um, I already explained why we use because when we are reading the binary file, it will when it will reach end of file, it will close the file. So simply I'll read the file and check whether this particular roll number which I have entered exists or not. If it exists, it will not enter the record. So exist is the variable which I have taken to check whether it initially I am assuming that exist is equal to zero means it this is a new rule number. So we will open a file in read binary mode while true. So I'll just pickle dot load it will one by one it will load the list if it exists. If the file is not empty it will read it and s0 s0 means the first element of the list first element of the list is the first element of the list is roll number if it is equal to the roll number which i have entered so it will just print roll number exist and it will change the exist variable which it was default by default 0 into 1 and it will come out of the loop and after this it will when, when we will check after the reading whole the file uh, after reading whole file we will check whether the value of exist is 1 or 0 obviously when value of exist is 0 it means the roll number does not exist so if exist is 0 it will append the roll number then it will ask it will open op uh, open a file in append mode a b plus means append mode and then it will append the rule uh, the list will append the rule number this is not needed after this name is equal to then it will uh, ask for the name and name will be appended similarly i have taken a list of uh, empty list which will ask 
three times for i in range 0 to 3 means it will execute three times it will ask for the marks of three subjects so marks will be entered and appended so finally our list have three variable three uh, values first one is roll number second one is name and third one is list of three subjects marks so so uh, finally pickle dot dumb will write this list into the file so if so finally in this program it will check for the existence of roll number it will search for the existence of number so uh, and if the roll number exists it will not allow you to enter and you have to enter it again so this will cover searching in the binary file and writing in the binary file and appending in the binary file i'll run this program see enter roll number enter roll number suppose one enter name this roll number does not exist hence it is allowing us name suppose i am entering my name mark suppose 23 24 25 do you want to continue yes now i will try to enter the same roll number one so it will not allow you to enter roll number exist press y to continue again i will try to enter Another rule number. Just a minute. I'll just change. Then rule number three. Then rule number. So suppose I'm writing the name. Enter marks 34, 56, and 78. Now, do you want to continue? I am writing N. So it will come out of the loop. So finally, so this program will allow you to just write only. It will not allow you to read. In this program, we are just writing the data in the file. So, the next program is reading from the file. So, this is the program. I'll just open this. Reading from the file. This is the program. This already I have explained in my previous program. Still, I'll just go through it once again. Import pickle. So to load the with to use load function f is equal to open binary dot dat in read mode this was the same file so i i dumped two records that is two list so try will allow you to um, keep on executing till the data is there in the file at the end of file the the error will be generated that will be accepted by this accept and it will close the file and print the end. So s is equal to pickle dot load f. f is the file pointer. So I'll run this. You can see the two records which I have entered. Shilpi and Saroj roll number 1 and 3. This I entered. Now the next thing is. Next program is deleting a record from the file. So deleting how we can delete it. So first of all the record which we want to delete we have to search for the record. Once we get the record uh, when once we find the record we have to search it. So the concept which we will be using is we will create a new file and we will keep on copying all the records in the new file till we get the record which is to be deleted. Then when we find the record we will not copy it in the new file rest all the records will be copied in the new file finally we will delete the old file and new file will be renamed by the old file name this is the concept we will be using so os is the module it has two it, we will use two functions that is one is rename and another one is remove remove allows you to delete the existing file and rename allows you to rename the file so first of all it will ask you to enter the roll number which is to be deleted and fin finally we will open the binary file and another temporary file i am going to open to dump all the records leaving the record which is to be deleted so try will allow you to keep the track to uh, access each and every record while true s is equal to pickle dot pickle dot load so it will load the object 
that is the list and s0 is not equal to roll number means s0 was the first element if it is not the roll number which we want in that case it will dump it in f1 f1 is the temporary pointer to the temporary file so when till it finds the so if it find the roll number which is to be deleted it will not dump the that particular record so finally after dumping all it will close both the files now after this what it will do it will remove the original file from which we copied the data and it will rename the new file that is temporary file with the new file uh, this name old file name so rename has two argu arguments first one is the name of file which is to be renamed and second argument is the new name of the file so here as we want the original file to be there and we have deleted this binary.dat so it will just rename the temporary file to binary.dat so that we can get our existing file so function f5 you can see here roll number to be deleted i think i entered roll number 1 that is for shell p i delete i use that roll number so it has deleted now i want to see now binary file as i told you we cannot read binary file see binary file this is the binary file i'll open it you can see it is encrypted and we cannot read it so to read it again i will open the program which will read the file binary reading is the program which i just explained so i'll again run this file now you can see the record which i wanted to delete was deleted so in this way we can delete the file delete delete the record search the record append the record write the record and uh, all these operations can be done on binary files so i hope you understood the concept of binary file if you like this video please like and subscribe hit the bell icon please don't forget to share have a nice day stay safe stay healthy